Hello, what is up? So, there is good news for AMD as well, actually, on this game, even though it was an intentional from Square Enix. And I will show you how to use Ultra Wide as well on this game. There's an app I use called Flawless Widescreen. But this is where you say you've got to install it in this folder for Final Fantasy Rebirth. This is installed in Optiscaler. So I'm just going to remove it for the purpose of the video. So this is what you want to do. This is the latest. I think it's still the test build for Optiscaler. But what I would suggest is uh, just leave the XCSS files out of this one. Just copy the bottom three files for the Optiscaler, the setup windows, and then just from fake Mbappe just copy them files because there's no XCSS in this game anyway. So I found in some games actually if you copy the XCSS files and you have no intention of using that it can sometimes muck up the frame generation. So it's something I'm going to have to look at but you just press one enter, one for AMD enter and then uh, one to use the DLSS inputs in that folder and this is a widescreen app. So if you, all you got to do is go Google, type in flawless widescreen, and it works well for the Final Fantasy games. You just select the profile, and also for a lot of older games, that's handy. So I, I would recommend that for ultra wide users. So I knew you would just there's the OSS, so it's enabled for AMD to overwrite with a uh, F star four. So on this game I've had to zoom in because for some reason when you press insert to get this menu up it comes up really small with the right end but as you can see it apply F star 3.x for F star 4 and then you want to make sure it's via the stream line. Do not use the Nukem because it literally if you apply that the game will just crash when you try to restart it. So I, I literally had that issue. So it's very important to use a streamline and then select FSR frame gen, then it will work completely fine. So, I've warned you, do not do that, don't use the Nukem. I don't know why it's crashing in this game, but that just seems to be the case. So as long as you follow these instructions, it's pretty easy. So once you restart the game, uh, you can actually just press active, then it will literally be, it will say on in green, and as long as you've got the frame gen selected, it should definitely work. And it seems to work completely fine. Uh, with this game, you actually do get Unreal Engine stutters because I don't know why. I mean, it does compile shaders, but I've had this on the 4090 as well. You get a few stutters when you enter, and then it just seems to smooth out. So, I mean, I do like their game Square Enix. Um, I'm not impressed with the ultra wide support. So, as I said, you can use that app if you've got an ultra wide. Just type in Google and then type in flawless multi screen and it's just a little app that uh, I don't think actually gets updated much now but it's handy for a lot of games still because there's a lot of older games and the Final Fantasy games so yeah I would say it's handy for an ultra wide user but yeah I mean it seems to be I mean it's literally working for AMD with Optiscala so Optiscala once again I just think it's such a great mod it's it's definitely the best mod I've used in uh, PC gaming. So that's it. I mean, you get FSR 4 and now frame generation. I don't know if uh, Square Enix will give AMD frame generation, but I wouldn't be too confident on it because I would have to say, even though I like their games, I think they've done the bare minimum really for PC anyway. And it looks like for Nvidia, they've just about put it in. Uh, I'm not sure. Final Fantasy 16 had better support for FSR. It's uh, weird. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.